What's going on guys? My name is Ben and welcome back to another video. Today we're doing something a little bit different. As you can see, I am joined by my friend Eric. So welcome, good to see you. Nice to be back. Welcome back to the channel. For some reason, my videos starring you also um, kind of seem to get a lot more views, which is a bit weird. No can't idea why. why. No, I can't think why. So what are we doing today? And we'll explain in a, another video why you have this 20 plate Mercedes X-Class. But today we are down at Chameleon Customs because we are going to be modifying your new truck, aren't we? So uh, what are we going to do to your truck today? <laughs> We're going to go for a new grill on the front because this isn't very popular, this grill, to be fair. Is that um, a standard grill? That's exactly standard. It's right. like a similar grill that you get on the GL class. Yeah. So like the GLAs, GLCs and things like that, they come with this standard grill. I don't like it. I think it looks better with yeah. a different style of grill, so we shall reveal all shortly. And then we're going for some um, de-chroming and some roll bars on the back, uh, cover, roller cover for the back. I'm not going for a canopy. Uh, and then we'll see what it looks like, see if it looks any good. Brilliant. And then at a later date, I believe you're gonna get things like the chrome deleted. Yeah, um, so next week it's booked in. Yeah, booked in here, back isn't here. It? Yeah, Jay at Chameleon Cars, looking after us. He's lent his unit for the day. So we're going to be doing some bits today and then he's going to be uh, using his special capabilities next week and de-chroming things. Happy days, I look forward to seeing that. So should we just jump in and try and get this grill out? Fingers crossed, it's not too hard, eh? We'll try, we might not break it. Yeah. <laughs> right then Eric, why don't you show everyone what you've got to go on to your new X-Class, but before we do so, let's just appreciate Jay's unit here at uh, Chameleon Customs. Because he's yeah. lent us this for the day and I think the way it's been painted, all this kind of graffiti and GTA style is rather cool. Got some very nice cars on the wall as well. Huayras, P1s, Chirons, and uh, things like that. But anyway, let's dive into all these boxes and uh, talk us through what you've got to go on the car. We'll leave the best to last, I think, which is in that box. Mm, the good goods. What we've got here is a metal bar. Yes. There are two more metal bars in there. This forms a uh, roll cage, so it's like a well, so roll cage. It's not going to roll anywhere, <laughs> is it? But like, it's a uh, basically black tubing that's going to go on the back there, on top of the other thing, which is the tonneau cover, which is like a roller yep. shutter cover for the back, and that's obviously like lockable and stuff, and slides back and forth, just secures the back, and so you, you can put things in there and lock them away. Stops people stealing your iPad. Yeah. <laughs> Pad and pens are gonna be, gonna go in here. This is like for pens. Oh, well, that's a good pens idea. in there. So crayons, yeah, yeah. pencils. You get a load pens. in there, wouldn't you, lad? Yeah, and uh, loads of paper. Yep. Uh, loads of risk assessments. Loads of fire yeah, extinguishers, which is yeah, your yeah, job, fire isn't it? Yeah, extinguishers and things like that. They'll all go in there. Yeah. Um, so this looks really complex, to be fair. I don't know if you want to uh, get a little close up there, Ben. But there's like a uh, like a chain mechanism thing in it. It's very heavy. Yeah. So I feel like MPG is just gonna. Slowly, <laughs> uh, and then they go on the sides. That goes on the back. Oh, are they the are they the side steps? No, no. They go on the side of the top. Thing. Oh, okay. The on side there. steps haven't arrived yet. Right, truckman, you let me down. Are what you? To be today. I keep bullying you, but are you going to do anything about them? They look good. They do look they good. Look good. I just can't believe they're 19s. To be fair, when you told me they were 19s, I didn't they think. They look massive. They do actually. But it's, it's all tight, tight yeah, isn't they it? Are, they're 19, so actually, to be fair, I'll take the mick out of you. But, um, oh, bloody hell. Supercar Nigel. Health and safety. <laughs> uh, I did take the mick out of you and told you you needed some 22s, but actually, in the flesh, they don't look as small. They look small now. As, um, as you think. Absolute unit, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Sound. Happy days. And is there one more thing? Oh yeah. Whoa. Oh, I think this is going to be the biggest transformation. Big it's going to look so cool. No one likes chrome or plastic grey trims, do they? No. So what grid is this? Apart from a G, looks like a GTR. This is a an official, unofficial right. AMG Panamericana grill, which is designed for the X-Class. I haven't seen, I think I've maybe seen one with the grill, but only one knocking around. Yeah. 
uh, pretty cheap, get them off eBay, and essentially, um, you have those on the AMG GT cars, the AMG A45, and things like that, the newer AMG generation cars. This isn't AMG or anything, to be fair, it goes against everything I've ever said, but uh, it's going to look cool, I think. When it, everything else is dechromed as well, that yep. grill is going to look sick. So, And then black wheels on it, I reckon. Uh, yeah, it's going to look It'll cool. all tie in nicely, won't it? Yeah. I think that's going to be a massive uh, kind of improvement to the front end. Um, and uh, nice. should we go and have a look? Jay's See what Jay's doing. Yeah. Mate, this is uh, a lot harder than we, we envisaged it to be. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. I mean, I'm happy that you're uh, we're actually possibly, with it. We're possibly looking at maybe having to take a bumper off at this stage. Uh, so. <laughs> Don't zoom in on that. <laughs> uh, why? What's the problem? Should we time that bit? That was interesting then. So we did manage to get the grill off. It did take three of us, mind you, uh, without removing the front bumper, which is what I originally thought we were gonna have to do. So now that's off, we can just throw that in, I guess. And I say, just throw that in as if it was that easy. But of course, it's never as easy as we make it look. We're just, just remember, in. we're professionals. Bing, bing, bing. Yeah. Job done. Couple of bolts. And this is my car. It's not unleashed, before anyone asks. <laughs> <laughs> Good old boy, this. Good old boy. It's gonna look good, that. You reckon? Yeah, look at that. No, we oh, can't. we also need to take the Mercedes badge off Is that the spoiler? old grill. And no, put we're gonna it leave that. it like that. You think? More air intake. That's the one for that V6. There we go then, the grill is on the front of the car and I can't believe what a difference that's made. Let's get you out here, Eric, and uh, see what you think. Cause that looks so bloody good. Look with the bonnet closed. Yep, go on then. That looks good. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, that looks amazing, mate. If I could swear right now, I would. It's amazing what a relatively simple mod can do to a front end. And I just can't wait to see when you come in next week to have all of this dechromed because that is just going to bring the front end. You can't moan that that's got an AMG grill on it when it's not no, AMG because no. that still looks really good. It, that honestly looks that's... so much better. And you've even kept the Mercedes badge uh, in chrome there yeah. just to kind of de -chav it. It's got to stay in chrome. Yeah. It's got to, I reckon. Yeah, that looks I think so much better. Everything else is going de chrome, so that's getting de chrome. Fog lights around. Yep. But I think keep those yeah keep those uh badges as they are because they look so good works really really well and of course ties in nicely with the badge up there but mate honestly what a difference that has made if we look at it from the front <laughs> oh, that's just so aggressive it's, it's going to be even down. more aggressive when that's dechromed but now i come to think of it is this going gloss or matte because this is matte uh, gloss. Gloss, yeah, to tie in with the that's grill. Plastic. That's just plastic. Yeah. Because it's textured, okay. it's really hard to wrap. Right, brilliant. So I think gloss black, keep that like that. Metallic, yeah. rock grey. And even the little fog lights around as well. Yeah. Happy days. Look at that, you're well happy, aren't you? Going on the ground. <laughs>
Right then, your truck is now complete, minus the chrome bits, which we're gonna get done next week, That's as mentioned. Five hours later. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, weirdly, the thing that should have been the easiest turned out to be the hardest, and that was those uh, kind of rollover bar things, weren't it? Um, roll cage. Roll cage, that's roll, the one. Whatever it is. Yeah. Well, yeah we... How good does this look? Oh, it looks. Let's, let's give them a little walk oh around. Oh my god. Because from what this looked like this morning, yeah, the nice. grill alone has completely transformed the front end. The grill. Tonneau cover on the back, which should just roll yep. nice and smoothly. Can't quite see it because we've uh, been very we're, practical. We're recycling, save the environment, and everything like that. Or yeah, let me that in. bar's on, which is very, very nice. Solid, nice and sturdy. Wow, look at that. that. No problem. It's made it so much. Better, Looks good, it? doesn't it? I yeah. really like this angle of the car with that now kind of satiny black kind of roll bar. Looks no very, very steps. good. Side steps that I've ordered. Yeah, they all match. Bar, oh, but that's gonna roll around along the side there as well. So it's gonna be like a step with that bar nice. on. So that'll like continue with yes. uh, some new wheels, dechrome it, yes. make it look bad boy, like a big drug dealer car. Big drug dealer <laughs> Jeep. Oh, brilliant. No, it's looking really good. You must be uh, quite pleased with it. I am. Very nice, very nice. Very pleased. But there we have it then, guys. Eric's X Class, I was gonna say trail, he'll get very upset. X Class is now. Almost complete. It's complete for today until he gets those bits wrapped. But we both hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future upcoming content with the M3 and also another video on his X-Class. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.